This question requires you to know some of the polyatomic ions and recognize when they're formed. The most common polyatomic ions are phosphate, nitrate, etc. For this one, we'll be using phosphate as one of the products. When we react an oxide of, of phosphorus with water, it creates this phosphate molecule. But that's not all it forms. There's hydrogens present in the equation. Hydrogens will add to the phosphate such that the charges will be eliminated because each hydrogen is a plus one charge. So we need three of them. Okay, and then we need to balance this. I don't know, what do you balance first? So let's just balance the phosphorus first. So we'll put two on the right side. We have two phosphorus uh, on either side now. Uh, that two changed the number of hydrogens and oxygens. Uh, so to keep, to keep track of everything, we'll just do a tally. So we have six hydrogens and um, two times four, we have eight oxygens. Uh, this four only applies to the oxygen, remember. So eight oxygens. We wanna make sure we have the same on the left side. Oxygen will be trickier to balance because there's two uh, molecules which have oxygen. So we'll start with hydrogen, a bit easier. We can see that we need six hydrogens. We'll put a coefficient of three in front, giving us six hydrogens, it's good. Now it's time to deal with oxygen. And in fact, the oxygens are balanced. We have three oxygens in the water and five oxygens in the diphosphorus pentaoxide for a total of eight. Uh, so everything is balanced. And okay, so to name them, we should know the name of this molecule. This is an acid, it's a very common acid. This is a uh, common name is phosphoric acid. 